Greetings, everybody. Socio Doug here with our chapter on sex, gender, and sexuality. Are you ready to learn? Let's get started. Now that I have everybody's attention, let's talk about the three categories in this chapter according to sociology. The first one is the category of sex, not the act, but the uh, way in which we classify people according to their primary and secondary sex characteristics. Similar to our chapter on race and ethnicity, here we are again looking at the differences in people based on their physical characteristics and how people can expect to be treated based on those differences. When it comes to sex, we generally think of people as falling into two categories, males and females. <coughs> Excuse me, if you were born with a penis, you are considered male, and if you're born with a vagina, you are considered female. However, it's also possible to be born intersexed, meaning there is the presence of both male and female sex characteristics such that you're not really a male and you're not really a female. And there is a lot of studies uh, done with intersex people and the conclusions that most researchers find are that people who are intersexed neither identify as male nor female and really don't wish to be put in either one of those categories. In the past, doctors were pretty adamant about performing surgery on babies to make them into either a male or a female. And what we found happen as these kids grow up is there was a lot of confusion and anger about what had been done to them as kids. And now there's a movement underway to leave these babies as they are and to not necessarily force uh, kids into the male or female box. And of course, with today's technology and medical advancements, it is possible to change your sex from one to the other. So we'll put the category of transsexual in there, and we'll talk broadly about the umbrella of trans and what that means in a later video. So that brings us to the category of gender. And what do we mean by gender and how does gender differ from sex? Gender is really about behaviors and attitudes and feelings and values and how you present yourself to society and whether you want to be treated as a uh, more feminine person or a, rather, or if you would rather be treated as a more masculine person. So this has things to do with how you dress, how you wear your hair, how you do makeup, whether or not you wear makeup, uh, what kinds of activities you like to engage in as a kid, what kind of toys do you like to play, uh, did you like to play with. These are all expressions of gender. And in the United States, again, we generally break gender down into two categories, masculine and feminine. Masculine being people who tend to see themselves as more aggressive, tough, competitive, and strong versus feminine, who are people who tend to see themselves as more cooperative, sensitive, nurturing, and emotional. Now, we're not talking about men and women here, or males and females. Uh, women can be masculine, and men can be feminine. This is, again, attitudes, behaviors, beliefs, and values. We're going to put a third category up here called transgender. Uh, this is uh, when people have feelings, uh, behaviors, and beliefs that are associated with the opposite gender of their assigned sex. So for example, if someone is born male, but they identify as feminine, 
uh, that would be uh, possibly a transgender person, or if somebody is born female and they identify more as masculine, that could possibly be a transgender person. Some transgender people become transsexual, where they have uh, surgery to uh, match their physical body to their uh, mental feelings and beliefs and, and, and behaviors. Uh, and some people are uh, simply transgender. Uh, they have the uh, sex characteristics of one sex, uh, but the behaviors and beliefs and values of the opposite gender. That leads us to our third uh, category for this chapter, and that's sexual orientation. And sexual orientation, of course, is simply who you uh, desire to have intimate relationships with and uh, sexual relationships with. Uh, and these terms, of course, are very familiar uh, to everybody. Uh, we have heterosexual people who are attracted to the opposite sex. Uh, we have homosexual people who are attracted to the same sex. We have bisexual people who are attracted to either sex. We're also going to include pansexual people who uh, really don't have a label or prefer not to have a label um, and don't consider themselves heterosexual, homosexual, or bisexual, uh, more of a uh, fluid type person. And then, of course, it is possible to be asexual where there is no sexual attraction or desire for sexual interaction with anybody. And that's going to bring us to our code word for this video. And the code word is love is love. Make a note of that. Be sure to enter that into your Canvas assignment. And that's going to do it for this chapter or for this video. Thanks for checking in. 